So we're here for the official reopening, celebrating the completion and the renovation of Prospect Hill Park and the historic tower. Uh, this is an incredible uh, project. It's come out uh, beautifully well. And I want to thank so many people involved. First, the neighborhood and the community for their input, uh, not just during construction, but the years leading up to, to this important renovation, the historic preservation uh, commission here in the city of Somerville, the community preservation committee here in the city of Somerville, uh, city councilor, uh, Ben Ewan Campin, our office of strategic planning and community development, and. Uh, and a uh, head of a person who leads all the charge to expand and make our open spaces even more dynamic, Luis Oliveira and the team, the architects, the, the designers, George Proakis, uh, and we're really excited. This park has important historical um, significance, not just for our community, but for the nation. The first flag of the United Colonies was flown on this hill on January 1st, 1776. You see a replica of it flying today, and we're looking forward to future reenactments on every January 1st as when Sunday we get to the other side of this pandemic, we can come out in large numbers again and celebrate our historical identity, and that's so important. But there are improvements to this park. Don't just make it more aesthetically pleasing, uh, but it improves the ecological components of the park. Uh, the lawns are healthier. Uh, there's more space for people to move on. There are healthier trees, and there's more accessibility especially for those folks with physical disabilities, to truly enjoy this public asset. Uh, we're really blessed here in Somerville. We might be the most densely populated community in New England, but our open spaces are dynamic. Uh, they're unique. I think they exemplify our uniqueness and creativity and originality as a community. Uh, and I'm so excited to participate in this for so many reasons, especially given the fact that I grew up here, my family once they escaped Cambridge after immigrating to America and came to Somerville, they planted themselves here on Prospect Hill. I have so many personal great memories as a child growing up here. Uh, the solace uh, of the urban tree, uh, the tree landscape here and the urban canopy uh, of the trees we have here, the uniqueness of it. Uh, and it's really important. And it, and it contributed so much to my quality of life growing up here in the community. And I know it will, not just for the neighbors here in Prospect Hill, but for the entire city. So thank you everyone who had a hand in this important day and for the community to come out and enjoy this beautiful uh, asset of open space, of a spot of tranquility and an important uh, piece of our history. At this time I want to introduce the city council from War 3. It was a neighbor just down the street, Ben Ewan Campin. Ben. Thank you so much everybody. Uh, I'm Ben Ewan Campin. It's an incredible honor to be here. Uh, I want to echo the thanks for everyone on the city side who did the incredibly hard work to make this happen. Um, all of the neighbors who uh, came out to all those meetings and have been incredibly involved in this process. Um, I keep thinking about uh, a friend of mine who grew up, her family's been on Warren Ave for many generations, and she would always tell me stories. This park was always where the kids would come to look at Boston. And it was a place where wherever you were from, whatever your background was, this was a place that is free, open to the public, and you could come get a view of the city, take a break. And I think, you know, all of the things that uh, we really value that the government does, parks, schools, public transportation, libraries, these are things that uh, we often take for granted, but an enormous amount of work goes into these from the public, uh, from public officials, and so I'm really, really grateful for that. And as the mayor mentioned, this is a historical park in the kind of grand scheme of things, but also I think in, in a personal sense for a lot of people who live here. And uh, it goes without saying that we are in an incredibly difficult historical moment right now. Um, and so I think it's, it's very meaningful to think about what this park is going to mean uh, for everybody uh, for the next hundred years. Um, we are in the middle of a lot right now, and I hope that this park continues to be a place that people can come um, and take solace. And I'm very thankful for everyone that uh, has gotten us to this point where the park is back open and looks just incredibly stunning. Um, and I'm very, very, very happy that it is back open. Thank you all. So I have the honor and the privilege of introducing a longtime advocate for open space and historic 
preservation here in the city. Uh, Dick Bauer, former member of the Historical Preservation Commission, a leader in our efforts to have the Community Preservation Act passed here in the city, which we did successfully. And I can't thank him enough for his leadership there and his contributions to our community. Please welcome Dick Bauer. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so we are now uh, eight years into Community Preservation Act time in Somerville. But I want to go back earlier than that to talk a little bit about Prospect Hill and the tower and the park um, here. Um, they go back to 1775 and 1776. This was the center of a lot of Revolutionary War um, activity. Uh, and in particular, there was a fort here on top of the hill overlooking Union Square. Um, and on January 1st, 1776, George Washington was here uh, and raised the first flag of the United States with the 13 red and white stripes that have become so familiar to us. And a reproduction of that flies up on top of the tower right now. Fast forward a century and a quarter, and we have another historic event here, which was the building of the tower and the park here on Prospect Hill. And then over time, as things do, the tower got into not so good condition. The park got modernized in ways that were not quite appropriate and got run down in ways that are totally expected. Uh, and so when we fast forward another century and a quarter um, up to, to now, uh, we get to celebrate two historic uh, things. We get to celebrate the original action here back in 1776 and the building here of the tower and the park here. When we were doing the campaign that the mayor talked about to get Community Preservation Act in Somerville, um, those of us who were doing the campaigning talked a lot about the kinds of things we would do if we had CPA money, about how we could have more affordable housing, more uh, parks and open space, more money to do historic preservation. We particularly liked to talk about things that were twofers, things that would be both affordable housing and historic preservation, uh, like the Waterworks project uh, along the Mystic River uh, Parkway. And it, but our favorite twofer was right here, the tower and the park, um, which were both open space and historic. Um, and although to some people, the idea of a park being historic um, may seem a little bit odd. People can look at the tower and say, oh yeah, that's old, that's historic, I get it. Parks, not quite so much. Um, but what the team was able to do here was to essentially recreate uh, as closely as possible the original park that was here when the tower was built a century and a quarter ago. It was a really wonderful conception on their part and a really wonderful execution on the part of everybody who did this. Uh, and so on behalf of both the Historic Preservation uh, Commission, of which I was the chair when this was all being planned, and the Community Preservation Committee, of which I was also the chair, as a designee of the Historic Preservation Commission. On behalf of both, I want to congratulate all of the people who worked on this and thank you for your vision, your hard work, and your terrific results.